This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. We're representing and recognizing all those great veterans. Patriotism is ringing throughout northern Nevada as we celebrate the men and women of our armed forces. Coverage of Veterans Day tops Channel 2 News at 5 o'clock. Of course, really the whole country is recognizing our veterans who have served throughout our nation's history. Good evening, everyone. I'm Wendy DeMonte. I'm Kirsten Remington. Happy Veterans Day, and thanks to all of you who have served our country. Paul Nelson spoke with veterans today from those who served in World War II to men and women in uniform. Now he joins us here in the studio with a number of ways they are being honored. Paul. Yeah, Kristen, it's been a great day just meeting so many people from different eras and different branches of the military. And while Veterans Day only happens once a year, it's a chance for all of us to say thank you. In the land of the free and the home of the brave, perhaps no one is more brave than our veterans. Today, they're being honored in the annual Veterans Day Parade that includes a 95-year-old Navy nurse and several junior ROTC programs. How can you beat this? you got a beautiful day. you got hundreds of young people out here trying to show the respect to not only the veterans, but to our nation and this, uh, this great community. But the parade's not the only way our community is showing its support to our military. Every Jiffy Lube location is offering free oil changes to veterans. This location expected about 100 people to come through, mostly veterans. I've noticed over the years that more companies have been offering specials to veterans, and so it just it makes me feel kind of special. And the health of our veterans is also important. That's why free flu vaccines were available to them at the Veterans Guest House today. Something that's pretty necessary, especially when you get to be about my age. Or Older. Veterans have done so much for our country. It's very much the least we can do to offer a vaccine today. So we're really, really happy to be here. You could find all walks of life at the Texas Roadhouse, where they offered free lunch for veterans today. We've got people World War II, we've got Vietnam War, we've got current troops, um, and they get to meet each other and actually elicit, get different stories going, so it's kind of fun. Faces in the crowd include a Navy veteran who served on D-Day 70 years ago. Others return home safely from Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and Korea. Today belongs to them. It makes you feel good because 20, 30 years ago during Vietnam, this would never have happened. And so whenever I see a Vietnam veteran, even though I was too young to go, I always thank him and welcome home. This is the third year Texas Roadhouse has offered free lunch for veterans, and they're just one of dozens of restaurants that offered free breakfast or lunch to veterans across the country. Covering the big story live in the studio, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News. So great to see Paul. Thanks so much. And today some veterans shared their memories with us on this special day. John Potter had the honor of speaking with four of them. It's been 40 years since Marilyn was a nurse during Vietnam, but the memories stay close. She wears her pins proudly, but they come with a lot of pain. There's a young man she thinks of who didn't make it. One she tried to keep alert by asking. Tell me what you did. Did this did this. And after all these years, you still think of him. I do. Her happiest memories, flying home with the injured, the moment the plane hit U.S. soil. And then that's when we went, hooray, we're home, and the guys were just cheering. All who served had their lives interrupted, like Neville Lyons. Being away from family was the biggest, biggest thing. Um, you never knew when you were going to have to go somewhere or be sent there. It was that way for 23 years of his life, but no regrets. You know, going back a few years, you're a little more patriotic than the way, the way they feel now, and I felt that way. Jimmy served in World War II. He signed up when he was 18 after Pearl Harbor. Everyone was angry, and they wanted to go to the defense of the country. Our freedom was at stake. Across town, Korean War vet George Karash came out to be in today's parade. It's one of his favorite days of the year. Proud of our country, seeing all the young people coming and celebrating the Veterans Day. He, like other vets we spoke with, worries about younger generations losing their connection to history and the folks who lived it. There were a lot of sacrifices made. People aren't here now. You have some friends you wish were on this float with you. Yeah. It's difficult to come up with the right words when hearing these stories from veterans, but there are two. Thank you to those who served our country so selflessly and are giving us stories so we remember so others don't forget. Covering the story, John Potter, Channel 2 News.